So, welcome, pre-intermediate class. We've been looking at feelings today, and we learnt lots of feeling words, and lots of these were new for you. I'm just going to go through and I'm going to pronounce them so you can go back and listen to the pronunciation, because there were lots of problems today. So we started with this one, angry, angry. There's no huh, it's just ah, and it's not easy if you come from places like Italy or Spain to say that. Bored. Now this sound ends with a d at the end. It's not easy. Bored. This one, disappointed. Disappointed. It ends with a little id sound. This one caused a lot of problems. Embarrassed. Embarrassed. Okay? If you get something wrong a lot of times, you'll feel embarrassed. You feel disappointed if you want something and you don't get it. You feel, oh, I really wanted that. You feel bored after about, after I talk for about an hour, you start to feel very bored. You feel angry if I give you homework. There you go. Uh, excited. You feel excited when I tell you you can go home, which will be in two minutes. Excited. Another one of these id sounds. Impatience. You want me to stop the video so you can go home. You're saying, come on, Mike, hurry up. We want to go home. It's late already. Nervous before an exam. They're coming in about seven weeks. Relaxed when you're watching TV. Another one of these relaxed sounds. Scared. If I tell you I'm going to give you five exams instead of one, you're, oh my God. Surprised. Surprised. Because there's no homework. That's a big surprise for you. Surprised. And worried. If something is wrong and you don't know what's going on, you feel a bit worried. Say somebody is you, you know that your son or your girlfriend is due to come home and she's not at home and you think oh where is she why she, hasn't she phoned me now those are the adjectives we learned but we also learned that the word feel can be used for loads of different reasons we can use it for people here are all the adjectives we can use it for opinions how do you feel about something which means what do you think about it we can use it with a thing so you know, this, ch this table feels hard, this chair feels comfortable, your hands feel cold. We can use it with feel like in two different ways. Like we can feel like a noun, I feel like a rest, I feel like a cup of coffee, something like that. I feel like a bar of chocolate. And finally, we can use feel like with verbing. So we can say, oh, I feel like going out tonight. What do you feel like doing tonight? What? And that means, what do you want to do? What do you feel like doing? What do you want to do? So that's it. Lots of stuff to learn. We're going to have a test on this next week. Oh, we're going to revise this tomorrow in conversation class. Thank you.